Okay, everybody, so, uh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the next problem. Uh, the 390 strikes again. We were at our last park in uh, Birch Bay, and when we moved the, the microwave slide, the street side slide in, it made a different than normal sound. It came in okay. Um, we got here to Paradise, it wouldn't move out. And it was a popping and cracking, and it just looked weird, and it was kind of shimmying back and forth. Uh, let me show you what we got. Uh, we got a little bit of a scenario, and it sounds like it might be a common problem from some of the other 390 owners I've talked to. Um, you can see these screws right here, they used to go straight in. So they have dropped a good half inch to quarter inch on this side. Also, the gap, you can see I can't even get my hand in this one here, but down here, I've got plenty of room. I mean, I can almost get two fingers in there. So basically what has happened is this support, or the, I shouldn't even say it's support because there is no support. Um, if you look all the way down, there's nothing. So I've chipped this one in here just the other night just to get us by. But what I'm gonna do now is uh, got a jack down here and I've got some two by fours together. I'm gonna put them in between these uh, one by sixes and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to jack this slide up on this side. And then Beth is going to climb under here in all of her wisdom and probably going to be a little bit of a sailor too. I've cut this one at 24 and a half. Uh, this one's at 24 and a quarter for right now. That's like I said, I just put that in there. Probably going to put them all at 24 and a half to get this side up. And then um, we're going to do it on the other side. So we're going to jack this guy up real quick and relieve the tension and the stress off of this. I'm just, it's a temporary fix, guys. Okay. This isn't meant to be permanent. Um, I do have an appointment with Grand Design. Unfortunately, it's in November. Um, I don't even know if this is going to last that long to get through to November. But uh, we're going to try. It, yeah, we're definitely going to try to get it at least down the road um i tell you it's i love grand design they're very quick to help um and yes i could pay to have a mobile mechanic come out but he's going to do the exact same thing that i'm about to do and uh well being as i'm a registered technician i should probably do it myself um so basically what we're going to do is we're going to jack that up we're going to relieve the stress off of here get this all the way over and then I'm gonna, these are only like number eight screws. I'm gonna put number 12s in. Um, again, you don't want really deep screws because uh, you don't wanna come through your fiberglass. And also remember, you're only screwing into styrofoam. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's all that's in between here. I'm hoping that there's a stud that I can catch. Uh, that's my goal is to hit the studs, but they are also a one by one. So um, it'll be interest, or excuse me, a one by two. Um, so, that's our uh, project for today. So I'm gonna set this thing up and have, uh, so you can see when Beth puts that guy together and you can hear her be a sailor. I'll try not to be too bad of a So now we're almost to where we need to be. So go ahead and climb in there. Okay. And yeah, you should be easily able to move that over. Climb in here. Yeah, try not to shake it too much. You making it? Ah, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get in here. You got just woggle across your on your tummy. Okay. Try and lift it up first because you might be able to move it in place. Okay. okay. Keep going all the way. All the way. Ouch. I'm snug. Okay. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 
and she's pretty secure. All right, so you can see that uh, we definitely moved these ones up. So I might actually take and jack this back up and put this at um, 24 and three quarters and see if we can't get that up. Cause you can see this is still at pretty good of an angle. Um, these ones are almost straight. So it, it's just one of these things of trial and error. Um, and then we'll actually, I'm still gonna use this so it wasn't a bad cut cause I might just slide this down this way. Um, and we'll get it a little closer to the strut so we can, we're not u losing a lot of space. Um, but you kind of get the gist of it. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna cut it at 24 and three quarter. Uh, and the reason I cut it at 23, or excuse me, 24 and a half is because I just couldn't see this, you know, we were already tight to this and we just raised this, you know, um, you know, a good half inch. We're almost where we need to be, just even going off the old guides, but we're gonna jack it up again and see if we can't get um, a little bit more out of it and get our bracing back to where it needs to be. My only concern is the floorboard that's underneath there. Um, but again, this isn't a permanent fix, it's just temporary fix. And uh, I'm gonna try and pull these screws out to get them uh, in there with a bigger screw and hopefully the same hole. Um, dealing with this plumbing will be a little bit of an issue, but you can see even they, they didn't really mess with it too much. They just went at angles, but I'm gonna pull those out and put 12s in there. All right, so Beth is climbing back in here and she is gonna try and pull that one off. And uh, we cheated a little bit. We decided we were gonna go at 25 because we can always trim it if we need to, but uh, we should be able to pop that one out. And she's gonna just gently put that one in there, probably a little further, Beth. Can't, yep, just on the other side of that screw if you can. This side. I can't see. Okay, Oh, to me. There you go. Now just push it straight in. Again. Sorry guys, I can't even bump here. Okay, that's all right. Let's just leave it there for now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this one. Yep. Okay, you gotta come towards you a little bit. No. Oh. And I can't go any further than that. Hold on. Now? Uh -uh. Did we raise it any? It didn't. I don't know. I heard it go up, but. Is it, we're pushing it up pretty good. Yeah, I got no wiggle room in, at all. Well, you're moving it still. Let's try and. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I can't see. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's put it at 25 or 24 and three quarters. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna trim a quarter inch real quick. Okay. for the noise everybody okay this side just a little bit more okay and go ahead and tap this top in a little bit if you can um, I know it's a bad angle of where you're at 
Which side? The top. Towards me. A little bit more. Okay. Alright. So we're going to let her down. Actually, while well, I've got that jacked up, can you now... Um, I'm going to move you guys. So can you slide that towards me a little bit on the top? Oh, are we... Yeah, put it right on the other side of the black molding, of that floor molding there. Oh, okay. And you'll, the key to that is you've got to have it straight, not in an angle. I can't get over the floor molding. Yeah, yeah, you can. Slide it back towards you. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, come towards me just a little bit more. And then right there. And same thing, go ahead and tap that in with your mallet if you can close enough to where we should be able to okay and the top awesome One more yep perfect all right so, you ladies and gentlemen, see, we've got two braces here. I'm going to cut one more for right here in between these um, and a little bit on that side just for an additional brace. And we'll probably leave that one in play while we have this all set up. Um, and I know that this one is at 24 and a quarter. So we're going to try 24 and a half because that's what that other one was. And uh, we're going to give her a whirl. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so one thing that we noticed was, and we're the opposite, we were way down here. Um, this bottom was probably down in here. So that was one thing that we really noticed. Obviously we're very extended right now. Um, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna double check this. This is part of a recall to people. So just understand that if you have these Lippert Swintex, anything I think after 2020, um, there's a, a, a service bulletin out there. They do have a recall on these. Um, and as you can see, I've already sheared off a screw on that. So I'm going to have to easy out that and put a new screw in. Joy, a lot of fun. Um, but we're going to go back inside and I'm going to show you something. Uh, what led us to this, we noticed that the floor was actually sinking inside. So I'm going to hand this off to Beth and we'll be right back in the magic of pop. So I kind of goobered up and I forgot to show you and I'll put a I'll put a picture in because we actually have pictures Well, how we noticed is we had painted <laughs> Sorry about the flash guys uh, We had painted and we had noticed that this had sagged down um, Almost a half an inch and when we were rolling this out we noticed that this whole side was Cattywampus it, it wouldn't move out right and it was binding up so that's kind of what led me to investigate. I originally thought that the roller had busted, um, but it hadn't. It was just all the weight from that slide is on there. Um, it's a bad design. Basically, that's all it is. As you can see, there's no support on that frame. So it's just a, they took, it's fantastic having the basement, it, it is. But what happened is they took all that support out when we put those doors in. And so there's no downward support. You've only got it on. The very back corner and basically underneath this bar so just a bad design and you know this is a, a temporary fix I'll probably have some depending on what grand design does I will probably have some aluminum uh, U channels put in there um, at the edge of each door in the middle of the two and at the edge of the back one uh, it's something you know just additional help for the weight that's in these things and bouncing down the road does not help so that's my simple fix for a big headache. It, it takes a little bit, but really, um, I would have preferred to use a floor jack. I just didn't have one with me, so I used a four-ton bottle jack. I lifted up that, uh, as you see, I put uh, chipping across so that I didn't go right through it. Make sure you're dispersing that load, and uh, you can raise these up. Just be real slow and careful. They raise real quick. So. We're gonna go back outside. We're gonna pull that jack off so that you can see how much it drops. And hopefully we're all right. And we'll come back in and we'll film this. Hopefully that is the same too. 
Good? I'm good. All right, so we're gonna lower again, slow. Okay. All right, all the weight is off of here, as you see. And we're still a little low, but we are fantastically better than we were. Um, so I know it's, it's, it's not the ideal fix, like I keep saying. But in a pinch, like I said, now I can fit both my hands under there. We're good to go. Um, you know, we don't put a lot over here. We put our water line and we put our power cord right here. So that's basically, we're not going to be bumping into these things. Plus, I'm going to pull out those uh, tens, put 12s in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks to have to do, but it's a good fix to do. So we're going to go inside real quick. We're going to check to make sure that the floor hasn't still sagged down. Um, we should be okay. All righty, let's go see. Okay, so as you can see, nice line here. We don't have the paint line that we had before, so it works. Um, I hope that it works for a long time until we get it. I hope it works till November. Um, but if you have that problem, like I said, um, get just a couple two by fours one one by six so that you can disperse that weight um, and cut them to to your size I mean 24 and a half and 24 and three quarter at the corner is basically what we had to do um, but each one of these is different so measure and cut long so that you can trim it up it'll be all right once again thanks guys happy tails here and uh, we'll see you on the next one see you later